I was on a train the other day looking out the window. I began to wonder how the tracks are joined together. Sadie said they are joined by a displacement reaction called the thermite reaction. The reaction produces molten iron to fuse the tracks. But what happens in this reaction? To understand this, we need to state that metals vary in their reactivity and explain that a metal will displace a less reactive metal from its compound. Metals vary in their reactivity. Some metals react more easily than others. The reactivity series lists metals in order of how vigorously they react. For example, aluminium is more reactive than iron. Iron is a reactive metal. It can form lots of compounds. However, aluminium is more reactive than iron. In the thermite reaction, Aluminium will push out or displace the iron from the iron oxide. This reaction transfers lots of energy to the surroundings. This causes the iron to melt. Iron melts at 1538 degrees Celsius. That's a hot reaction. The thermite reaction is an example of a displacement reaction. Displacement reactions also occur in solutions. A piece of copper in a solution of silver nitrate will displace the silver out of the silver nitrate, producing copper nitrate and silver. The reactivity series can be used to predict which metals will displace other metals from compounds. A more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its compound. Now I understand displacement reactions. The reactivity series lists metals in order of how reactive they are. A more reactive metal will displace a less reactive metal from a compound, like in the thermite reaction.